Five centuries later, a group of witches and nobles gathered to summon the Red Duke, wishing to use his malign powers for their own nefarious intentions. The holy seals that once kept in the Duke were broken. Though he was not wholly intact, his mind driven to the brink from the lack of blood in his tomb. He brought his army back to Saren Field, recreating the campaign he led in his former life, this time to defile the tomb of the Grill Knight Galand, who had become a legendary hero of Bretonia. The descendant of Galand was called Gullan, and he was the Duke of Aquitaine, and the two fought with the Red Duke becoming the victor of that exchange. When he entered the Grell Knight's burial chamber, he discovered that Galand was his own son, and he was driven into further madness. Rumor had it for a period of time that he wandered the forests of Shalon. The woods to the west of the massive were calm, but that is where our story comes in, and the Red Duke has returned for a second time, with his mind intact. This time, it is Heinrich Kimmler, the ancient lich master who intrudes on the domain of the Red Duke, who is on his way to becoming the Red King of Bretonia, righting the wrongs of the nobility and forging a new path of immortality and power. The two will face off at Kimmler's domain, deep in the mountains, where only one will emerge the victor. Trading with various factions, like the neighboring Norskin factions, could be a beneficial idea for the Red Duke. Providing funds, providing goods, and even arms for our undead minions. Baston belongs to me. I don't know who might belong to me in the future, but we can only count on destroying them. Karakzifalan is not doing well. The Empire the struggles, Empire. though they are more powerful than I am. They own seven areas total. That's pretty good. And they are making forays into Bretonia. That I do not like. To be the Varg. I'd rather be raiding. They would like to trade. Very good. If they like to trade, let's get some money from them. Okay, maybe All not. We'll just work on trade. Either way, that's more for me. A non-aggression pact. Well, I don't want to fight them. Not right now. Fine. I'll try again. That worked out. We were able to get 800 dark magic. I hope they bottled it up. It better be clean. You know, they do say there's a lot of warpstone dust on dark magic. Alright, Norska. Are you here to negotiate? I know you don't want a treaty with me, but the Varg alone can leave me alone. They own many more locations than our good buddy over here, Wolfric the Wanderer. Ek is like, look, chariots are the way to go. We're rolling our way to victory. Samuel Lancer. Hello, my friend. It's time for you to go to Langi. Go to Langi and cause issues for me. Louis of Brint, you shall wait here for now. Did it work out? It did work out. How about that? He's not level 12 yet. We should rename Lyonnais to Greater Moussillon. There we are. We can erase the past with our future. With our present as well. Cursed Fields provides more public order and income. I'll take it. What other buildings could I use while I'm here? The Forest of Arden. They're not very happy, but that's okay. Bordelo. Ah, we could build a Bordelo Harbor, providing more tradable resources, more growth, and more income. I'll take it. Then over here, we'll take Gallows. Another common sight in the Unliving Realms are Gallows. Although, hanged corpses rarely stay dead and can often be seen struggling to untie their nooses. Relatable. We now have over... 3,400 dark magic coming in per turn. When I have over 5,000, I shall recruit, potentially, Lucrezia Belladonna. No. She will come join us in time. Now, we can end our turn. Because, I mean, I don't really want to fight anyone here. Not yet. We have a temporary peace treaty. I cannot break my treaties. The poor orcs are gone. They were here for quite some time. The Skull Smashers fought well for us. But now, they are gone. And over here is Brion. So, let's have a look at who we want to destroy. Krak Zeflin or even Kemmler. Kemmler has lands I want. Bretonia, I mean, they do too, of course, but we shall see in time. Gorsal was burned down, so maybe I'll go rebuild them on our following turn because we're bound to have another rebellion over in Marienburg. But we shall see. There's also treasure for me to pick up, and I still do need to replenish. We fought a major battle beforehand. My ally, Baston, is under attack by the Barrow Legion. Kemmler, you've made my choice very easy for me. Thank you. We have a new enemy now. A new internal war to fight. I do not mind. I will be there very soon. 
Blackstone Post will only benefit me. Look at Kimmler. He's unable to win without me. He's done for. Ah, look at the Norsemen. They're traveling too. They better not come by. Summon the Barrow Lords, Marienburg. The White Kings of old will fight for us, providing the proper forms are followed. We know the ritual, so let us send our agents to the Barrows and call a White King forth. Now we have a new White King who will fight for us. Very good. They know which side to fight for. A Black Grill Knight, Giovanni. Giovanni, come. We shall use you. Samuel, you shall join us too. Everyone will come join us on a new war front. And all the while, we shall have the Red Duke move to Artois and later to Gessereau. We've got many enemies to kill, and I could use my money right now to improve our local undead economy. It's dead. It's moving. Akatin, there's your improvement to your defenses. We only need one more blood kiss. Then I can get a much greater increase to my casualty replenishment rate from the secrets of the bloody grill. That'll be fun. I'll love that. There's no one for me to fight. So now we just need to end their turn because Himmler. Oh, look at him. He's replenishing quickly. Very nice, old man. Very nice. I'll be taking your prune juice very soon. No! Bertend, you can go home now. You don't have a nose for this manner of conflict. Be gone. Sword of Cain. Ah, the Sword of Cain. What a good idea. We should get that later. Whenever I'm done here, we might even go for that. Depending. It really depends if they deliver it to me or not. But we shall see in time. We shall see. The Red Duke. Well, Red Duke, they came over to Gisero. They damaged our Gisero, so we're going to have to address that issue later. Samuel, come over here. You can go after Kimler. I'll try to. For my other agent, to Giovanni. I suppose you could try it too. All of you can. Sure, you failed. What about Giovanni? Giovanni? It doesn't really matter too much, does it? Not too much. Ah, the chance is too low. He's got a bit of a defensive buff now that one action at least put him on guard. So now, Samuel, you'll take Deadly Blade. I'm giving you a mixture for when I use you on the campaign and in combat later. The Wasteland's still incredibly unhappy. Gorsal now belongs to the Bretonians. And again, there's going to be a rebellion over there. We don't need to really replenish, dude. We? So let's go right into Gisero to better protect it. There we are. Now we all feel better. I feel better. I don't know if they feel better. I mean, I don't know what feeling better for some undead means but anyway a woodman's hut that would provide a new garrison unit peasant bowman with fire arrows more logs more money all the good stuff wood and money we're still growing over in architect that's really the goal so we will continue to do so and you know why not make more dark magic make that black magic happen now we should have a battle in a turn or two because kimmler is getting closer to me and i'm getting closer to kimmler Look at him. He's just chatting over here, having a good old man. A new turn and new opportunities. I was going to wait to recruit a new knight, but I cannot, for Marienburg is about to rebel. Ice. Sir Philippe Mortarian. He is a fellow who will be in charge of putting down that ramble. Let's give him some zombies for now. I do have the hungry that are ready to join him. Right, they're cannibals who have come to feast a bit more. Take a new unit. And I can't give you too much more, but that might be sufficient. That might be what you need to put down any rebellion over in Marienburg. If it is not, well, fortune be upon you. Let's have a look at his abilities. He's got Benevolent Overlord. In time, they will come to see that fear is a great motivator and thank us for that gift. Hero of Common Folk. Trained to survive against the harshest of elements, yet still, but mere puppets to the masters they unwittingly serve. Then... Revenge serves cold. Hatred burns brighter than any fire and cuts deeper than any blade. And then finally, Secrets of the Bloody Grail. If you remember, we were working on that. Attribute, undead. Casualty replenishment rate, up by 10%. 20% more weapon strength and, again, perfect vigor. Embrace the darkness. So in time, he will become a full-fledged knight of darkness. A black knight, a dark knight. Aura of Dark Majesty. So we have many tools here that will be quite interesting to have for a Musion Knight. Samuel, it is time. Well, we don't have the fun, so it is not time. That was only a joke. I was testing you. We go to Blackstone Post. 
They don't really have a large garrison, do they? They do not. It's only Kimbler. And we have a black dragon, a zombie dragon. Screw the rules. I have money. Let's get them. It's time for a battle. We'll go right in and take out Kimbler. Who wins? Magic old boy who drinks prune juice? Or a zombie dragon duke guy? The Red Duke didn't really care for it when he was told that Kimbler doesn't really care for Castlevania and that it's overrated. So naturally, the two did not come to terms and they tried to have a game night didn't really pan out. He ended up throwing a freaking controller at Kimbler's head and they called it a day. So now there's a battle. You call it petty, but when you're immortal, petty things become a matter of death or death. I can't say life. Life wouldn't be right. But now, our veritable friend here, the Red Duke, is greeting his many minions. Surprisingly, the Felbats can be quite a nuisance if you might imagine a bunch of X-Wings and a Death Star. I mean, a Zombie Star. You might see why they might just be difficult to hit. There's just so many of them. They keep coming at you. They're just constantly bringing you down with a bunch of minor cuts. So my job, or the job of our forces, was to just break down his towers. Then, to allow the Red Duke time to weaken the forces that are presented against him. As many fell bats are annoying and they will have to go. Kimmler has nearly 4,000 minions under his command. You can see the old man walking on his own. Krell is here too. Krell is always here. Bats are falling. It's raining bats. It's a very strange forecast whenever I'm involved. But usually a lot of blood is involved. If you remember that mod I keep mentioning, the one that provides higher levels for my opposition, to me it's very important. Kimmler wouldn't be a challenge if he wasn't like, what, level 15? Now he's level 15. Which makes him much more powerful. And I really enjoy that challenge. I realize to have a challenge, you need commanders who are able to do that. And now here comes my minions all in sync again because they all listen to in sync. They used to be Backstreet Boy fans, but I don't know, that kind of fell off. So that's what they are now. Every tower on this side has been broken down. Elsewhere, we will have knights who will come right in through the secondary entrance. Sure, there's anti-large here, but they can't beat three groups of blood knights and a black grell knight. Fortune be to you, because <laughs> you're gonna need it. And so that trebuchet just continues to strike. Kimler's like, oh dear god, I've heard of your holy stones. Kimler, they're unholy, that's why we don't get along, you don't listen. Try to have a chat with you, and you're like, oh, what? Prunes? Never knew someone who just had to worry about constipation so much. He's just full of shit. Here we go. Our famous blocks. Oh. He lost his wits. Keep your head up, buddy. Kimler's like, you know what? I'm going to relocate now. Relocating is what I'll be doing. So the battle. Right, the battle. It's very important that we go over the battle. The Red Duke is back onto the walls, while we still have minions who are fighting down below. Undead on an undead violence is one, some people's fetish, and two, for others, it can be quite slow. Because you're not having to worry about leadership in a normal way. Sure, they might begin to fall apart, they might begin to decompose, but overall, you've got the same things, the same tools that are fighting each other. So for me to break in, it will only take time. You can see the difference in our aesthetic as well. We are Bretonians. They, however, are not. I feel like we're fancier. We're much fancier, in fact. This hex race will be nasty. So he's got a few unique units. Ah, here's Krell. You kept hearing that question for so long. I feel like they were nagged into showing off Krell. Where is Krell? Ah, right here. Maybe Krell was annoyed. Maybe Krell just wanted to hide under a rock. But he'll be waiting here for a time. My undead army, well, they're beyond and they're here. They're beginning to scale these walls where they will be able to deliver a prompt victory. I'm kidding, it won't be prompt at all. They will eventually be able to deliver a victory to us. The ladders go up and they too follow suit. While that's going on, in the middle, we continue to fight zombies. They might be zombies, but they will be here for a long time. What if you came across this battlefield as a living messenger of some sort? Ah, the gloom. They have the gloom. Here comes ethereal spirits. Beings that somehow exist that are able to interact with us. 
I like the way they move. That's how I move at times whenever I've had too much to drink and I need to get to the can. Oh God, get out of my way! Ah! Ah! I feel pretty gloomy too. A few nights are cut off because they love to open up the gates. They open up the gates and then they leave me inside with a few units. But these knights, they fight now. They're gonna fight here for quite some time. Later, the magics of the Red Duke will be brought to help them. Here comes the Red Duke now. Flying into combat. It's time to heal those knights and to destroy the gloom. All the while outside, blood knights are trying to break through the gates. And our units land on the walls now. It's their time to grind down the foe. Necromancy on necromancy violence. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You think just because we've shared that commonality, that ancestry, that we could unite and destroy the lands of the living. But no, Kimler. It had to be you. He's just that out-of-date old man. Where am I? Don't worry, Kimler. We're going to put you in the home soon. We don't actually kill him. We just put him into a home. And so my minions continue to fight in the center of town. These hex rays will be damaging. Quite damaging. Much like my knights are damaging, these ethereal, these... They're just good. They're just really good. I'm going to come in like ring wraiths right now, ready to take my stuff. Where's the bling? You shan't have it. Krell is taken down. Probably by a trebuchet. If not the Red Duke, then a trebuchet. If you're curious as to where things are at right now, I shall show you. Here's the battle. You can see that they have so many units left. I've been fighting for so long, and yet we still have more to fight. Over here is the Red Duke. We have a few more knights who came in to help me from behind. Those who were caught outside trying to rejoin their group. And the Red Duke, who, by the time this battle is over, will have destroyed over 1,000 enemy units. I am playing on very hard. But the Red Duke, we have empowered him. He's got so many tools. He's just beyond the normal scope and measure of any other Lord that we have seen thus far. I have focused on him. He's over at level 20. And if I, again, if I didn't have that mod to level up the enemy's Lords, they wouldn't even be close to him in level. It would be such a low leveled group. And now the Blood Knights move in. So many vampires crushing undead underfoot, underhoof. They're too good. They're way too good. You could be a bunch of skeleton spearmen, sure. But what can you do against such baldness? They feel so confident. They've got that Bruce Willis confidence. They don't need hair. In fact, they will purge the world of hair. Only the weak and living need it. And while that's going on, Kimler's town, his time here, is nearly over. We'll take his hat. It's a good hat. We'll put it on a donkey. Call him Donkler. And so the Hex Race are here too. They're not going to leave for a while. You can see that they're just going to be tough. They're going to break down many of our undead minions. That's just how it works. That's how it performs. The Kratoras are now following. They're coming in. On the walls, we're not done yet. It just takes time. It's a matter of who's more powerful. That's always going to be us. So we go back to the other battlefield. Usually these battles are over so quickly. This one, no way. It can't happen. His army was more than a match for mine, I think, in many ways. If I didn't have the Red Duke here, I would have lost most of my army. I think that would have been the case. I would have lost most of them. We can kind of see the trends of where it's going now. It's not so much a spoiler as a prediction of where things are going. Our Black Grail Guardian, again, amazing at what he does. There's only a few spearmen left. The Red Duke comes back in. My horse portion, my cav, my cavalry, they've been able to crush everything over here on their own. I mean, of course, with the help of the Red Duke, but they didn't need much help. Not at all. We come back over here. We see how they've got me stuck here. The Bastardiers of Cholon, they're fighting too, debuffing a few enemies, poking back. 
Kratoris are trying. We're being pushed back by the x rays I mean, we made some headway. We made it in advance, but there's just so many zombies. I'm not sure if they were summoned in from the very beginning, but maybe they were. And Kimler just brings in more. I don't let there be degradation, if I can help it, for summoned units. Because when I use it, you just want to see them add up. Sure. When you see the enemy use it, I want them to also add up. I want to see what they can do all together with all of their numbers. Because that degradation of a unit that is summoned in was only added in for multiplayer balance, not for single player. Asymmetrical balance for single player is a good thing. It means you're going to have a difference in strength. I don't want everything to have the same tool, the same arms, the same ways of playing. I want to have to really cover up for what disadvantage I might have. And so there's the Red Duke again. We're just going to follow him today. We won most of that battle elsewhere. Now there's a larger battle to find over here. And normally I do shorten the sieges, but I felt like this was a rather iconic one because we're fighting another group of undead. And now that noxious breath from our zombie dragon that I spoke about before has crashed right through many of their units, potentially hitting some of our own. But it doesn't really matter because now the Red Duke will come in and destroy them all. And while they fight, we've got another battle to deal with. Killer has so much magic, he's just been healing everyone. These Blood Knights will be fighting against some Spearmen. Some of them will be going around to flank. Others will stay here and hold them back. Take whatever Blood Knights down that you want. They'll be back. You won't kill them all. If you could, that would be rather impressive. So now these Knights will get ready to flank some more enemies. We've taken out the Gloom, the Doom, and the Hume. Humans. Didn't mean to see that one. And together we could just see that there's not too much left for Kimmler. We finally broken down a majority of his army, though he still has one. The old man is like, yeah, what am I doing here? But somehow he's just that powerful. A terrifying old man just pacing around, waiting. Like a final boss fight. Well, that's a grim fire. Let's go back to the main front lines close by. The Red Duke is coming for you, Kimmler. Goodbye, Kimmler. Oh, that's got to be terrifying if you're that old. Well, I suppose anything might be, but let's watch the battle. The old man still has a bit of fight in him. I don't know how much is really left. It can't be that much. He's just being shoved around. Oh. Okay, well, he had a little fight left. I don't... Hey, are you okay? Hey, someone get him his... Someone play Mad World. Q Mad World right now. Anyway. We need the Gary Jules version. Now Kimmler's gone. And there's only a few left. The Blood Dragons are pushing in. They can move away and then charge back in. They've got the advantage of mobility and there's massive charge bonuses too. The dragon close by, well, that belongs to the Red Duke and there's only a few spearmen who are left. He's just flying and destroying who remains. The battle is over now. We just need to crush who's left. And I have no other large enemy to fight. It's just going to be about recuperating from the current one that we're in right now. And now that Kimmler's done for, we don't have a neighboring foe. You think he would be an ally? No, no. He was a rival. One who's now done for. And it's all over now. That was a great charge. Now the battle's all over. We have won. The rest who remain are falling apart as we speak. They're crumbling. The magic fades. The Red Duke has beaten the Lich. Let's leave now and recuperate. That was a long battle. My god, that was a long battle. It was gratuitous. It was violent. There were people who were boned. It was just oh, too much. Okay, so we lost 860. They lost nearly... Well, hold on. Let me go back. Let's go back in time. Zip, 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 zip. They lost everything. I could subjugate you. But no, I don't really want you around anymore. 
Oh, we get a 10% magic resistance. My god. Goodbye, old man. Kimmler's quest for his darkest of knowledge will never be over, but has suffered something of a setback. We've gained new armor. Gambler's armor. Ooh. Now what is over here? Blackstone post. I don't want that. It's only tier one. It's unfortunate. But I can finish off his faction. Maybe go after the dwarves. Dwarves would be for Tolkien dwarves. Dwarfs and dwarfin would be for any other, you know, thing. But you know what I mean. For me, the terms are interchangeable. We all know what it is. And I like that good V and a good dwarves. Sounds good. All right, here we go. Wait, hold on. Didn't mean to go there. I meant to be over here. All right, Scar Veteran. Icon of Devotion. I cannot target if undead. Well, that's a shame. Ah, oh, well. It empowers my living units. I do not mind that. Okay, Samuel. Let's go after one fellow over here. Very weak, but also, look at that. We got a new trait gained. Live undead, or live undead. I said live. Huh. Imbued with dark magic, white kings unwillingly carry out the murderous instructions of their unliving masters. Unwillingly? Not mine. Mine's all like, yeah, let's do it. I like that. Surely the good stuff. You failed, but that's okay. You're new here. I'll forgive you for now. Isro, now you get to be tier two. An imminent rebellion over in Marienburg. We shall see in time what it shall be. Rebellion, you say? Very well. We shall meet them in time. I mean, I won my battle, thankfully, so all is well. Ready for duty. Hello, Paul. Over here, technology researched. All right. Cheaper peasants. Cheaper to recruit. My money only goes up further. What more could I use? Well, let's have a look. What could provide more money for me? Ah, cheaper horse units. I like that, too. What else do we have, though? Hmm, that's a good question. Cheaper skeletons and zombies would be good. Zombies could be free. 18 turns for free skeleton warriors and spearmen. Even better. And then I'll have to worry about paying for portions of my armies. Level 13 for Samuel Lancer. Well, Lancer, take devastating charge. And what about you? It's good training. You're good training, Mr. Undead Man. All right, if you can't hit him, go after the dwarf. I know you failed, but now you're level two. Good for you. I'll give you specialist. You'll be cheaper to utilize, and you'll have a higher chance to accomplish your actions. Do you know who and I over here, our new knight. What can you rally up? What do they have? Possible. Okay, we're looking at spearmen, crossbows, a mortar. You have largely a bunch of zombies. Ooh, a new blood kiss. Very good. So let's go take that Secrets of Bloody Grail. Bretonian knights talk of being visited by the Lady of the Lake in her dreams. Right. We did read that one. Oh, now we can heal. What do you want? Goodbye, Voldemort. Now that you're gone, we can move on. Where are we going to move on to? That's a good question. Superior attacker. That's a new trait gain for our dear friend here, giving us more leadership when attacking, a larger leadership aura size, and more melee attack in addition to a rampage or standard. <gasps> breathe, surreal. Breathe. You're not undead. Okay. Destroy them. Let's take out this last remnant. Himmler's forces, and now that we're done with that, we can move to Marienburg. The Barrow Legion is gone. Fare thee well, Barrow Legion. Let's go to Gisero. I know Gisero is not doing too well, but we can work on that too. Dwarves will come back for. Level 22. Ah, very good. What shall we put a point into? We are not really working on your magic, are we? No, we're not. Lightning Strike feels about right for the Red Duke. I could make you more powerful in combat, but oh lordy, I pity the fool. Oh, we had two levels gained. Well, very good. Look at that replenishment. We could replenish our army so quickly. That's really the biggest strength I could have. All right, let's come over here, Paul. I think we've done all that we can for now outside of killing that new enemy of ours. So, Philippe Mortellian, I don't know what I'll do with you yet. Even though you're meant to be a Baron. Fine, we'll call you Baron Mortellian. Enjoy yourself, friend. We can end our turn now. Now, Duke, let's go down here. This better be if I kill him, we should get some training go. in for the Baron. Yeah, not a bad idea. Attack! I don't really want to fight that rebel army. It's way too easy. It's way too weak. But now the Baron's able to get some experience. We can gain some dark magic, too. Because I don't need the replenishment. I've got plenty. 
that gives me a lot more dark magic look at that we gained a new banner banner of eternal flame this banner burns with a fire that can never be quenched imbuing its berries with flaming weapons and fiery eyes so my allies in range can deal fire damage potentially and look at that more weapon damage too so now that we've done that you're rank three let's give him something pretty good why not blade master for now or we can make him a great commander if we have one great warrior why not have a great commander of the minions we have no i don't know what i'm gonna give you yet but we're gonna keep you in marienburg for now that'll be your job who's over here ah beaumont hello so correct the flynn i wonder how powerful are you by the way i'm very curious about that vampire counts like me they own only two locations they're fairly powerful they're actually stronger than i am the storm is doing fine bretonia well they're much stronger than I am. They're rank five, surprisingly. Karakza Flynn is fighting Baston, which means I can be fighting them what? too. The Empire is pretty all right with me. We're improving. That's interesting. All right, they didn't like the Bear Legion. The Celestial College in Who knows what I might do with them? Who knows? We could be friendly. Norska, again, neutral to me. Estalia is down there alive somewhere. So why don't we get ready? Let's get ready to go fight the dwarves. They owe me. I know it feels strange playing a dwarven campaign in another game and then having dwarves in here that I've got to kill. It's okay. They'll forgive me. They won't forgive me. Who are we kidding? Dwarves are spiteful. Well, they've got their pride and they like revenge. Okay, Leoness, what about you? Tier 4 already? Oh, very good. We can take that. And while we do that, if I leave you, if I'm gone, how bad will it be? Let's hop over here real quick. There we go. Level 16 for Louis. Louis, you'll get Scarred Veteran. I just want you to be as beefy as you can be. You need a lot of health. And for you, Baron, let's see here. Plus 8. If I have you leave, because I want to save my money for a bit. How bad? Ah, minus 2. Not bad. I'll call you back later, okay? Can't really get rid of him yet. What I could do, I could replace him with Bertend, then get rid of Bertend. There we are. Now I have 3,700 coming in that I can use to improve my lands. And we can now get our timber mill. Very nice. Samuel, you'll pick up, let's see here, Foe Seeker. We have nothing more to do. We shall call it here for right now. Tomorrow's part will be longer. Thank you for watching. Don't worry. If there's any new content coming out for Warhammer, I will be playing it. So look forward to me saying, clever girl. Anyway, until then.